Look at that penis, that's so good. Okay, I'm gonna smash, sorry. Hi, my name is Dr. Lindsay Doe. I'm a clinical sexologist and host of this sex curious show, Sexplanations. Question, can a penis break? Yes. In human beings, the condition is called a penile fracture and it is considered a urological emergency. So if you're watching this video because you heard a snap or a pop sound from a penis and it hurts a lot, get medical attention right away. Many species, including our close relatives, chimpanzees and bonobos, have a true penis bone called a baculum. Evolutionarily, biologists propose that the bones and their unique shapes are reproductively advantageous. The spines for scrubbing away rival sperm and the trident to stimulate female reproductive tracts. My vagina hurts thinking about their designs. This photo is a collection of raccoon baculum that broke and healed. It's bent in, in the middle, I think it broke it. Get Taurus. Human beings do not have penis bones, at least not typically. The theory is that we evolved out of the need to have an actual bone that prolongs intercourse and secures the position, like really get in there and keep it in there. I think it's a case of survivorship bias and we may never know why there isn't a bone in human boners. Still, they're very breakable. The break in a human penis is usually of the tunica albiginia a membrane that surrounds two spongy rods that run the length of the penis. You have a urethra that runs down the center of the penis. This is enlarged for demonstration purposes. This is how urine and ejaculate get out of the body. It goes through the corpus spongiosum, which is the tip of the penis. See, like that, real big head. And then there are two other spongy tissues called the corpus cavernosa, which are on either side of this urethra. Oh yeah, look at that penis. Mm, mm. Mm. The tunica albiginia is this banana peel. On the inside where the flesh is, that's actual spongy tissue. The way that an erection works is that blood flows into these tissues faster than it exits the penis. So then they fill up and they get nice and hard. You're so hard. Over all of this, there is skin. Yeah, stay. And the best way to demonstrate that is a condom. <laughs> Look at that penis, that's so good. If this smashes up against something that is harder than it, the skin of the penis may not break, but inside the tunica albiginia may break. Okay, I'm gonna smash, sorry. Oh, skin intact, tunica albiginia broken, penile fracture. Time for smoothies. When the penis, usually an erect one, bangs into something hard like a perineum or a pubic bone, the skin on the outside, represented by the condom, might not tear. But on the inside, that sound could be the tunica albiginia or any number of fascia opening up. The same thing for blunt force trauma to the scrotum. The inside layers of connective tissue rip and bleed. I'm telling you, doctor, hospital, nurse, clinic. A study of penile fractures found that the longer people waited to get treatment, the worse the effects of the trauma were on the person's anatomy and physiology and psychology. The penis's shape and size might change, loss in length, increase in curvature, a condition called peyronies. You may experience difficulty urinating, getting erections, masturbating, fornicating, reproducing, as well as anxiety and fear about what you were doing at the time of the injury because you don't want that to happen again. I'm more conservative about sex because I don't want another urinary tract infection, ever. Of course you're gonna be hesitant or conservative about sex if it breaks your penis. Not sure if it's really bad enough to show your dick to a stranger and risk surgery? Is the penis tender, swollen, discolored, bruised? Is it bent more or in another direction than usual? Is it abnormally asymmetrical? Are you peeing blood? Are you worried that you broke it? Call for help. D describe it to them as like a, as a battered highway cone. The International Brazilian Journal of Urology found that 1.8% of penile fractures occur during sexual activity between men who have sex with men, likely in this case, people with penises. A West African study of prevalence reports the majority of penile fractures were during penis in vagina sex. That's 57.2%, either from vigorous thrusting, 41.1%, or misfiring, 35.3% into the perineum or pubic bone, and a quarter from partner massaging and masturbation. A Medscape publication found that 8.2% of their cases were from simply rolling over onto an erection. There's also falling onto or running into an erection. Careful out there. In the Middle East and parts of Central Asia, some people practice penis cracking or taquandan to force to mesence and often break their dicks. Taquandan or takantin is the Kurdish to click 
as in you hold the shaft of a hard penis steady and intentionally bend the tip until it clicks, snaps, or ruptures. Just like a spontaneous rupture, the erection goes away. That's one way to manage an unwanted stiffy. The reality is sometimes you can't manage it. Maybe tuck it into your waistband or take a cold shower, but boners just like bone breaks happen despite our best efforts to prevent them. Here are some of the risk factors you can look out for. Penile fractures are seen more in the summer, on weekends, among people ages 30 to 50 years old, in the midst of extramarital affairs, in atypical sexual locations like cars, elevators, bathrooms, and offices, where you're more likely to be going at it with less finesse and alignment. Doggy style is a contributing factor and reverse cowgirl is considered the most dangerous position. The penis wants to go in the opposite direction. If it slips out of the vagina or anus, it flings back and the ass comes down on it mid-move. Be careful with you and your playmates. Avoid sudden movements and communicate if you sense something is going to slip. You know, stay curious. Thank you to everyone at patreon.com slash sexplanations. It really means a lot to me that you make sex education freely accessible to the universe. And to those of you who share our videos, that is also super important because it increases sexual literacy. Stay curious. Sexual liter literacy. I am hot. <coughs> can't have banana stems in our penis. Go in there, urethra. Mmm, look at that dick. Oh, sorry, penis banana. Look at that penis. Mmm, look at that penis. Mmm, mmm, mmm.